Why Periyar started agitations against Indian constitution and burnt the constitution on 26th November 1957. In Indian history, when Brahmin planned to impose their hegemonic Brahminism in the name of customs, Periyar identified it and relentlessly opposed it from the beginning itself. On 3rd July 1929, Periyar delivered his speech on all scheduled caste self-respect conference held at Chennai Naipur Park, which recently renamed as May Day Park. Quote from Kudiyarasu 21st July 1929 Those who bring the God and Shastra as an impediment, now they started to climb it as a custom to hide out. If you have dared to bury the stumbling blocks like Shastras, God, religion, then you can burn the barriers like customs. Even before the enactment of constitution and freedom of India, he warned about the threat of the term customs. In Karachi, 27th to 30th March 1931, civil rights resolutions passed at the All India Congress Conference, which confirmed Periyar's negation. Periyar about this resolution. Quote from Kudirasa 1907-1931. In the constitution, it has added to determined and assured that to guarantee civil rights for all citizens of India, including their arts, culture, languages, ethnic groups, occupations, customs, caste-based duties, religion and religious beliefs will be protected. In India, there is evidence to comply with all the class, their ancient scriptures, language, caste-based duties, the each groups such as religion, indulgence, paganism, the respective religions, the temple, the monastery, the properties of the monasteries, the Congress is committed to ensuring that all other religious assets will be preserved. Comrade Periyar Not only in 1931, as he consistently fought against the threat of the word customs until the enactment of Indian constitution. In the journals, Kudirasu dated 6-9-1936 and 6-6-1937. In Vidudalai dated 25th October 1946, he returned against the Congress Party's civil rights resolution and the word customs. The Constituent Assembly was created on 9th December 1946. At that time, 21 years were not considered as the age for voting. Only graduates, landlords, princely state and income tax payers can vote. Such an electoral system does not reflect the opinions and sentiments of the majority of the population in the country. Therefore, his statement was published on Vidudalai 25th October 1946 that to dissolve the constituent assembly created by the Brahmins and the rich. In his journal Kudirasu dated 26th April 1947 is published detailed reports about it. Over the Periyas agitation, the Constituent Assembly was created on 29th August 1947. The drafting committee was constituted under the chairmanship of Comrade Ambedkar. As far as Periyar was concerned, he began his agitation in 1929 knowing that they were making constitution and that it would establish Brahmin domination as a hidden agenda. He opposed the formation of the Constituent Assembly. However, despite the continuous protests by Periyar, legal protection for Hindu Brahmin domination has been created. Articles such as 13, 19, 25th, 26th and 372 Article 1 in the Constitution of India which safeguard Brahmins and the caste system. After the constitution was created, Comrade Ambedkar and Comrade Periyar opposed the 25th and 26th sections of the constitution. In 1948, he introduced the Hindu Code Bill to correct these 
affections quote from ambedkar 1948 overriding effect of code save as otherwise expressly provided in this code any text rule or interpretation of hindu law or any custom of usage or any other law in force immediately prior to the commencement of this code shall cease to have effect in respect of any of the matters dealt within this code babu rajendra prasad the president of india 1952 to 62 and the late kanchi chandra shagendra saraswati head kanjipuram shankaramat strongly opposed this ambedkar's amendment he delivered his speech to address the questions raised by the brahmins and the hindu supermassist who against his vision ambedkar's speech as a text were been released by periyar under the headline ambedkar in saukadi which means ambedkar's rip in 1956 one of the restaurants in tamil nadu was named as murali's brahmanal cafe the dravidar kalagams sage of murali's brahmanal cafe to remove the name of the caste because which humiliates other non brahmins thousands of cadres were arrested however the caste name brahmanal is not removed the murali's cafe owner said that it is his constitutional right to be entitled his cafe with the caste name brahmanal in 1971 tamil nadu government dravidar munnetra kalagam political party enabled the appointment of people from all castes as priests the resolution passed and unanimously by all members of the assembly and till date it was unresolved in the year 2018 kerala government announced that women can also visit sabarimala but hindu malhotra was the only women judge on the bench who disagreed with the verdict which has given to women to visit sabarimala and said issues of deep religious sentiments should not be ordinarily interfered by the court notions of rationality can't be invoked in matters of religion and denoting these constitution articles generally a person from the hindu religion can able to practice his caste domination and brahmin hegemonic culture is compatible with above sections of the indian constitution in 1957 comrade periyar conducted an agitation to burn those sections it is the biggest and most important struggle against caste system after the indian independence on november 3 1957 periyar announced a protest demonstration to burn constitution the government then created a new law to punish whoever burns the constitution it was declared that 3 years rigorous imprisonment for whoever burns constitution millions of enthusiastic comrades who are ready for the 3 years rigorous imprisonment were burned the constitution on 26 november 1957 nearly 20000 comrades were arrested and imprisoned of which 4000 comrades were sentenced to 3 years rigorous imprisonment 17 comrades died in jail during imprisonment period many comrades died 3 years after the release of imprisonment many comrades lost their jobs many comrades lost their families the agitation came to the end but periyar's demand is not successful today in tamil nadu the business houses are named as brahmanal cafe in addition other caste people also running business companies in the name of caste like Ayyengar Bakery, Gounder Mess, Padayachi Store and Devar Travel. Ayudha Puja Navami is being celebrated in government offices. All Hindu religious festivals are being celebrated. Everyone from the Dalit people to other non-Brahmin community is living in harmony with the Hindu religious traditions merely a life of flavor despite 1971 and 2018's occasional protest the above mentioned constitutional provinces suppress the protest at the same time brahmins are fighting to change the constitution their purpose is different periyar's purpose is different periyar wanted to remove some of the constitution's acts which support caste system and he struggles to create equal quality today our assess brahmins or seeking to change the constitution against equality therefore we will fight for equality